Hello everyone and welcome back to Salmon Channel. I'm actually in the garden today and as you can see I'm actually bathing in sweat is because I've just came out and did my plowing. So I've used my hand hook, my cutlass for any of the roots and a bottle of water. So actually what I did today is I am preparing for the rain season and I'm also preparing for my um, potatoes. So I'm going to be doing a field of potatoes here. The plan we had was actually to get the ground here as the first piece of batch of potatoes that we're going to plant. Okay, and then we're going to get the second piece of batch of potatoes, which is going to be on the top side of the garden. After I did the cleaning where the bushes are not yet swept up, uh, we're going to have that for the backup. So in three months time, in the second month, we can actually advance the second stage so that it can cut up. So whenever we rip in here, we have another process behind for actually selling. And by the time we finish rip, we're going to plant back the same day. And we're going to always have the potato slips flowing. So I'm going to have potato in this garden. And I'm also going to have potato in the other garden on top. So actually today, I came out and I actually get the job done. Uh, the sun was quite pretty hot, but I didn't actually get any of the heat that much because I walked with my headphones. So I was actually distracted by the music. So I hadn't get any heat from the sun like watering or the sun will actually bother me. So today, I get the, the, the hardest part of the job over with. <coughs> the last thing I have to actually do is <coughs> continue burning that piece of stuff right there. And then pretty much, I believe I'm just going to be having to do a slight piece of bed. I'm going to try my best to get a piece of bed around here so to do my last piece of potatoes wet. And then I'm going to work with the drain. So that's the same drain that came from there. It runs there and go all the way up there. But my process and the plan is actually doing, after I finish here, which is almost quite finished, so all I need to do is just cut up the soil, so let it break down, let it get fine and nice, and then I can ship the bed with my, um, with my spade and give the bed a nice neat shape. And then I'm going to focus on doing the next piece of forking up over there, which is going to advance me to get the job totally finished. So when I come to plant, I can plant and then I can get the other bed ready like <coughs> manuals and other stuff. And then when I'm ready, I'm just going to put my slips down. But what I tend to see to actually observe from this piece of garden here is that I actually was sourcing a piece of water, which I actually said I was actually looking to source a piece of water for me. So I find the line is actually really moist and <clears throat> for the amount of sun that actually passed through here I am still wondering if there is not any type of little um, streams or something that has been flowing up on top because normally moisture runs down the slope um, so I think I'm gonna really make a patrol in truth because while I was actually digging as you can see <coughs> the mud is actually sticky Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> so I'm going to drink some water still. So I was saying. So yeah, just drink some water. Sorry for this. But actually, what I was saying is if you can actually see here, you can see slight water through that piece of um, flowing up here. And if I send my hand deep down, I can feel the coolness from underneath there. So what what had really happened is when I was actually first flowing that piece of garden. When I reached here, I recognized that here is always moist and it gives me uh, observation to ask my aunt, my grandmother, sorry, and my mom if they had any, ever noticed that there was any streams higher up. Because to me, for the amount of sun that actually had passed here, that ground should have been really, really hard to flow and it was actually easy to flow. 
and steal there are places that we had plowed at first I have never plowed there and now I'm plowing there and it's actually so much that I'm wondering if there is some sort of source of water higher up so as I said I'm going to take a day I'm going to go up there I'm going to try my best to see where I can find that source of water I did make a little shoot but I didn't actually go for a little sick so I'm going to try and go for a little sick again so the last piece of things I have to do that's when I'm finishing touches. I'm just going to plow over that piece of bank. It's a very nice bank to make a, a potato bank. It's already banked up. So I'm going to make a potato bank too. So thank you all for watching on my channel. I'm going to be rolling out right now.